Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will explain you and show you how to use ephemeral block in Terraform. Starting from version 1.10, the ephemeral block is available, but I recommend you to use version 1.11. Ephemeral, it's one time use Terraform resource block, but it can be not only a resource block. It's created for management of sensitive data or secrets, and all this without saving information, any details in Terraform uh, state file. For example, this is the old, uh, like old way, let's say. Yeah, when you you can create a resource called the random password, which will generate uh, some random string, like random password. Uh, all the details of the rendering will be saved in the Terraform state. You can see the password itself. You can use ephemeral for this. Ephemeral random password will generate password, but it will not save anything in the state. Remote state or local state, doesn't matter, in state file, nothing will be saved. Another example, ephemeral data block, and also it will not save anything in the state file. For example, this is the old way, let's say, data, we're reading some password from SSM parameters on AWS, but the results of this data will be saved in the state file. We can use ephemeral data source. It will read the password. The results of this read will not be saved in Terraform state. So where you can reference, where you can use it. So first in resources with argument of type write only. This write only argument was introduced only in a Terraform 1.11. So this is why I told you use 1.11. And here example, to store SSM parameter. As you see, instead of just value, we reference new attribute called value write only, write only. And we can reference only ephemeral variables and also required value version. This is version just for the Terraform. It's not version really on, on AWS version of the secrets. It's just version for the Terraform. So we will know when we need to retrigger, when we will not need to retrigger. Another example is database. For example, here, here's a deployment of simple database on AWS and the password. Previously, you specified probably just password and just the result of the random password that here password read only and we're specifying only the ephemeral results and same you need to use also version if, if you want to retrigger it basically to just kind of change passwords you need or reread password you need to change it to two three four whatever uh, or just switch it to one two and back to one doesn't matter with the number here really just doesn't matter another place to reference it it's in another ephemeral block basically one ephemeral block reference a variable so results from another in ephemeral blocks Another example is in locals. If you, for example, want to read the password, like ephemeral password from ephemeral random password and just make it like nice, you know, like ni nicely. So local.password will be equal to ephemeral. You can use local.password just for ephemeral stuff only. Uh, another example is in variables. If you add ephemeral true, for example, you see you want to start a deployment of your Terraform and you want to provide some password or token just one time, it will not be saved in the remote state, in the local state. So you just uh, specifying can variables, it, it, it's, it's ephemeral a variable. And it's ephemeral variable can be used only as ephemeral reference. And the outputs. Outputs can be re referenced only if it's in the module, not in your main Terraform uh, which you run. Only if, only from the module you can create output and also add ephemeral true and it can be used only as ephemeral parameter. This is the end of theory. Let's do some hands-on. Okay, here is my Linux and here is my Terraform file. So this is the old way. Let's say it's way before the ephemeral blocks. We're generating password. We're storing this password in SSM parameter store on AWS. We're reading value of this password from SSM parameter store, and this way we're using password. Let me deploy all this stuff and we'll check state file. As you see, it's going to create three resources. So first it will generate password, it will generate here. It will store this password in SSM parameter store here, and it will create a database. As you see, this is a database with a password yeah, here. And uh, well, let's read also a password from a SSM. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, it's done. Let's review state file. So it's created Terraform TF state file. Let's see here. This is a data. So it's basically read from a SSM parameter store. And you see here's the password. Next on management DB instance, it's a database. Let's see password here. Same as you see password is here. Next resource, SSM parameter. 
here is the password and random password basically where the, where the password was generated same everything is stored in state file this is how it was like until today or like until a ephemeral was introduced so now how we can use it on transfer this code into the ephemeral so password will never be saved in state file so let's go to the new let's close this one let's go to the new i will delete the old one the new one it's the same as the old one but let's transform it uh, you know first i will comment out all the stuff so we'll work just only on this stuff okay random password let me show you how it looks like in documentation So you see here resources terraform password under the new fields ephemeral resources version 1.11 basically same stuff but you just need to know you see resources and also ephemeral resources okay so let's change this to F to be ephemeral okay now this will generate password but will not save the results in the state file how we can reference here as i told you instead of wall value we need to reference its value right only equal and it's equal this thing ephemeral oh nice random password master db dot results and remember what i told you always we need to add value right only version right only version and let's make it one and i think here it should be not results result okay so let's run it Okay, as you see, it's going to create only one resource, only password and value write only version one. Let's do yes. So you see, it's ephemeral random opening. It's not creating, it's opening. It's opening, generating password. Then you see it's closing <laughs> at the end and it's created our secret. We can go and check this deployed secret. Just let me refresh it here. Here is my password was just created and here is the value, you see. This is what was generated and just deployed. Nice. Let's see what we have in state file, Terraform TF state file. So we have here SSM parameter, which has been deployed. Let's see the value here. Value is nothing. Value write only null. V value write only version one. Okay, it's deployed version one. And that's it. And it's depend on ephemeral, but yeah, the ephemeral itself is not here. Random password was is, is not here. Let's run it again. Will it will regenerate password or not? No changes, all good. Why? Let me tell you. So, in the code we set value write only version 1. And let's see what in Terraform state. In Terraform it's also say. So, we want version 1 and state said it's already deployed version 1. So, nothing need to be done. If I will change it to, let's say, 4 doesn't matter it, it should be numbers just doesn't matter what the version here what will happen so in state it's one in code it's saying i need version four okay i need to create new version so it will take the output results of the a uh, random password you see we're changing so let's do yes so it's taken the new password of, uh, which was generated and modifying the uh, ssm parameters so let's go to the ssm parameters tool and check so this is the old password. Let's refresh, we'll see the new. This is the new password, you see? Here's the version, it's, it's the versions of the uh, AWS. We don't care. But you see, password has changed. All right, and nothing we can see in the TF state. Here's the TF state. Uh, what we see here, f uh, version four has been deployed. Whatever is version four, no one know version 4 in, in code and version 4 in state so nothing need to be deployed anymore like if you run it again no changes okay let's uncomment this stuff so we'll read the password but data if we will leave it as this data will save whatever is able to read we'll save it in this uh, state file we don't want it so let's go to the terraform documentation again i will show you one more
So here you see resources as a same parameter, data sources as a same parameter, basically to read whatever this is what we're using. And also there is the ephemeral resources. Same, but we need just a uh, specify IRN. That's it. So let's go and change this to ephemeral. Ephemeral, ephemeral, and this should be IRN. IRN, and also here we change it to IRN. Okay, and the database deployment tells we don't want to use password, we want to use password write only. We want to use ephemeral stuff. Ephemeral stuff is this one. We want to use it from here. Oops. And when you, you, you remember, then you're using password read only. We also need read only version write only. Sorry. <laughs> And let's leave it. Let's set it one. Okay, that's it. So we ephemeral generating password. It will not be stored. We storing password because it's ephemeral. It will the result will not be stored in the state. We reading password ephemeral way. It will not be stored. And we also deploying database using ephemeral stuff, which also will not save any sensitive data in state file. So let's deploy this. Okay, it's done. Let's see Terraform state. Database has been deployed. Let's see the passwords here. Null, right? Only null. Password number one has been deployed. Same parameter. Password number four has been deployed. And that's it. And that's it. If we'll run it again, it will not regenerate any password. It will not reset the password. All good, because whatever is configured is deployed. No any changes required. If you want to trigger changes, you need to change the version. So let's change it here to one. You see, I'm going back. It just really doesn't matter what the number here. Just change it. That's it. And now what it will be, it, it will going to change just the password and SSM. It's not going to reset password on the database. You see, just the password on SSM. It's modification of the SSM parameter. And that's it. Database, did, it, it didn't touch the database. Why it didn't touch the database? Because it's deployed version one and all good. All good. If you always want to deploy and change password here when the password changed here, so what you need to do is basically reference it. Reference using this way. For example, Just basically, this will be equal to this. And if you will run it right now, and you see why it's not, uh, we're not going to change because here's version one and here's version one was previously, yeah, but they changed. So, eh, <laughs> it's like interesting example why you maybe not need to go to back, like if you increasing the version here, don't baby go back. So anyway, let's change it to version two. And if I will run it right now, it will tell me, okay, I need to update SSM password and also database password because they should match. You see, database want to change the password. Why? Because it's depend on this one. That's it. This is how ephemeral is working and where to use it. I hope it was helpful and see you on the next one. Bye bye.